Hello, this is Leech83, how are we doing? Welcome to this little Celtic vlog, as always talking all about Celtic, and today I'm just going to do a quick review of the remaining fixtures for November. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to do individual vlogs for the three games. Um, however, there will be a special for Barcelona because I've got a ticket, um, so we'll have a little one from the from inside the stadium for the Barcelona game after the game. I'll probably put that up on the Thursday um, if I can't get it done on the Wednesday because I plan on having a few pints so I probably won't be editing anything when I come back because um, I'll probably just go to my bed. Either I'll be sick or I'll, I'll, I'll be sick in another way because I've been drank too much. <laughs> Either way, I'll be on a good night um, and hopefully we get a good result. But first of all, the first thing we're going to be doing is playing Kilmarnock tonight and we have got a very tricky game down at Rugby Park, not necessarily due to the opposition. Kilmarnock are one of these teams that failed to deceive in some games and then in other games they came out of nowhere and get a win. Um, but I would reckon that we will get the three points down there. The only thing that's going to be difficult is the pitch. Obviously, it's an artificial surface and I could see a few of our players being rested and not risked with two big games lying ahead. So, players we've had uh, knee injuries and hip injuries and what have you. Recently, I could see them not playing. So, I don't see Scott Brown being, being playing. I don't see Mikhail Lustig playing. Uh, we'll probably see Christian Gamboa coming at the back. Um, Emilio, Emilio Azaguirre will probably continue at um, left back but it's one of those things do you risk him but I don't see a third option coming in to go three at the back so that's one thing that's very tricky because um, I don't see Cole Latouri playing it'll probably be Eric Savirchenko and Joseph Sinovic who will play at the back uh, with Christian Gamboa and Emilio Azaguirre um, for the midfield as I say I don't see Brown being risked Beaton is a question mark also um, so it could be Stuart Armstrong, Callum McGregor and James Forrest, uh, we could see Patrick Roberts and then uh, Scott Sinclair coming in with Dembele up front, or he'll play four in the middle and go with two up front, which is very unlikely, um, I'd probably imagine it'll be the five first of all with Dembele up front on his own. Then we have got Barcelona, which is a, a fucking um, a major task, a major, major uphill challenge, but one that we're capable of doing, we've proved that we can do it before, we've beat Neymar, we've beat Messi, we've beat Suarez, we've beat them all, can we do it again? I'd not 100%. Was Suarez in the team? No, Suarez wasn't in the team. I'm not sure if it's Suarez. Uh, but anyway, we beat the Barcelona side before. Can we do it again? I think if we go about it with the right mentality and approach the midfield fight the way we did against Manchester City, then anything is possible. You never know in these games of football. Um, and it's 90 minutes. Player against player. It's all about what you can do on the park. I believe Barcelona do have a couple of injury woes with Jordi Alba. Um... Gerard Piquet and Andreas Iniesta pulling out of the Spain squad for the international against England. So um, whether they've got a few doubts about them, I'm not 100%. I'll wait and see how they progress at the weekend. Um, but for us, we've obviously got every chance. We just need to go about it, as I say, with the right mentality. Give them a game in the midfield. Don't just sit back and watch. Don't just sit there and admire. We've just got to go and close them down and let them know they're in for a fight. They need a win because they will not want to um, finish second in the group. That's the way I kind of look at it. But at the same time, if Man City win, then it wouldn't really matter what they do. Um, so hopefully Man City get a victory and then hopefully we can get a victory as well and that keeps it in our hands going into the last game. So anything's possible. And then at the end of the month, we've got a nice occasion to look forward to our first chance of silverware for this season and that is the Betfred League Cup final against Aberdeen at Hamden Park. And again, the one thing that lets this one down is the surface. Hamden Park surface is always terrible. I can't remember a good time we are, sorry, a time when the park was in a good nick. Um, as Chris Sutton said in the, in the commentary for the semi-final, it was like, you can't have a national stadium um, that's, if it's dedicated for football, then it's for football only um, during, the, during the season. And during the season, there shouldn't be any concerts, any fucking uh, rock shows, none of this shit should be on during the, during the, the, uh, the close season. There shouldn't be any for that. There should be and uh, through the pre-season, that's perfectly fine. During the summer transfer window and all that, carry on. Play whatever you want in Hamden Park. Just make sure the pitch is ready to go for the start of the season because it's an absolute embarrassment. It's on uh, paid for TV, either through BT Sports or Sky Sports, whatever one it is that's showing it. Um, and you want to have a nice occasion that's displayed on the television, not a park that's meant to be a national stadium getting clumped up to fuck. I mean, I don't understand how... Um, Obviously, the English FA have got a lot more money than the Scottish FA, but I don't understand how the England part at Wembley can first go from hosting a fucking American football match and then hosting an international match. And you couldn't even... The only way you could tell there was something else on the pitch was there was different lines 
Um, but apart from that, it was it was in proper good nick, not chopping up, not doing up. Just it was proper good turf, and that's what you need on your national stadium. You should have the best of quality of grass to play on when you're playing at your national stadium. I find Hamden to be a fucking embarrassment. Um, if they're not going to keep it for football, then they should let the cup final be played at a neutral ground um, and take it away from Hamden Park. There's no point it being there. It's a fucking god-awful stadium anyway. It's absolutely horrible. Anyway, that's turned into a bit of a rant, hasn't it? <laughs> you can let me know your thoughts on Hamden Park by leaving a little comment down below and your thoughts on the three games. I see it as three games which have got the potential of being three victories. Two are definite. Um, one of them I'm not 100% on because it's a big ask. But... It's in our hands. Let's go on about it. Go with the right mentality and then you never know what could happen. Apologies, there's a wee bit of background noise, but I'm a fan of my PC. It's going overtime. Um, so that's a little bit of annoy. I've got a new mic here, which is a, a Blue Ice Snowball. I'll just get it fucking free a little bit. Can I pull it forward? No, I can't fucking pull it forward in my way. <laughs> I fucked it. I fucked it. Anyway, there it's there. Can you see it? It's a little Blue Ice uh, Snowball um, thing. It's a nice little mic. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have a pop filter for it. I ordered one, I didn't receive it. I ordered another one, and I've completely fucked my camera. Can I get it back on screen, please? <laughs> it's all gone fucking wrong. It's all gone wrong. I'm back. Um, right, okay. So yeah, I've um, ordered the pop filter. It was coming from China, and it's probably still in China. And I've not got my £2.50 back, so <laughs> I need to get another one. Uh, so I need to get a pop filter, and then I can start using that mic, and I can get rid of the headset. Um, but apart from that, everything else is going pretty sweet, we'll get the graphics all done and what have you. I've went and fucked the screen completely, but I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Um, let me know what you think about the free games, how do you think we're going to go, and stay tuned to the channel for the special for the Barcelona game, because as I say, I will be attending, I'm looking forward to it, let me move over here because that's annoying. Um, I will be attending the Barcelona match, so we've got a special vlog straight from the, the park from that one. And, and hopefully by a good time. So let me know what you think about the free games. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Smash a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you in the next one. As always, hail, hail, take it easy.